What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films. Now, probably one of the most frequent question I get is what is my setup? What is my anamorphic setup? I posted a picture of this bag on Instagram and I got a lot of question as far as what's inside it. So today that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what is in this small bag. Now I just got this maybe three weeks ago. Uh, I used to have a really big one because I had the Phantom 4 Pro, but with a DJI Mavic Air, there's no need. So this is it. This is how small it is. Here's my hand. I have a pretty small hand. So let's go ahead and open it up. We're going to start with the top part right here. Now this is a Sigma 1835 1.8. Probably, probably be the best lens for a crop sensor and below. To mount this on my Panasonic GH5S, I need a Metabone Speed Booster Ultra 0.71. So that's this little thing here. That's connected to the lens. We got a lens cap or lens cover. And then we got a 72 to 77 millimeter adapter because I have 77 millimeter ND filters and 72 millimeter. So that's that. I also have a small rig lens, not lens, I have a small rig LCD hood for the GH5 or GH5S. It works all right, I did a review on it on my channel, so go ahead and check that out. On the right side here is the Mavic Air remote, so you can see, it fits right there perfectly, obviously when it's folded. Let's go to, we'll save the camera last because it's a lot of stuff. I got the Panasonic GH5S charger, and I got a spare battery from a Mavic Air and a spare battery from my Panasonic GH5S right there. Let's get into my uh, ND filters and my filters. <coughs> so I have been using this type of ND filter for a very long time. Firecrest IRND 77 mil or 72 mil. I have a range of uh, 2.1, 1.4, 1.5, and 0.9 and 0.6 ND filters. These are the best ones that I've been using. However, I just pre-ordered something. It's uh, supposed to be the best variable ND filter. It will, it's going to be in the market soon. It's in a Kickstarter fund right now. So I went ahead and checked that out. I pre-ordered that. So I'm going to be reviewing that soon. But for now, I've been using these since 2013, this brand, ever since the Blackmagic Micro, no, the Blackmagic Cinema Camera first came out, I've been using these filters. So let's go ahead and bring that back. Now I got another Firecrest there. And then for, uh, for UV filter, I actually use the uh, B&W, this is, pro again, probably the best ones that I used. It's made in Germany, it's real robust. Why do I get this? Well, instead of Cracking your actual lens, just slap a UV filter on it, it really, I don't see the difference. If there's a difference, it's very minimal if you put this on. So it's worth it just getting this for like 97 to $100 rather than cracking your actual lens. So invest in some UV filter. It's real good. And I got some more ND filter there. All right, let's move on to this little thing here. This is, believe it or not, is a 4K camera drone. This is the amazing Mavic Air. Fold it up just like that. That's why I love this freaking drone, man. It's insane. Can't wait to test it out against a Nafi drone. Uh, we'll move into the sides real quick. Really just miscellaneous stuff. Got some converter filters, filter threads, step down filters. I got a cover for the SLR Magic adapter. I uh, got my props, which shouldn't be really lying around like that because that's a really bad idea. I should have put it in the bag or something. And, you know, just got s screwdrivers, some um, lens cleaners, and then move it up to this top zipper. I got me uh, extra props because I was, I went to Norway. I didn't really need them. And an extra USB cable for the DJI Mavic Air. Little memory card holder, and you gotta have your roastery in there, man. You gotta have your roastery in there. So people, when they steal your bag, they look at that and they're like, oh man, I shouldn't be doing that. Um, let's go ahead and go to the camera. 
And you see how small the setup is. It's freaking amazing. All right, start with the camera. Panasonic GH5S right here. Let's go this way. Panasonic GH5S. This one right here is a Fotasi or Fotasi, whatever you want to call this. Uh, Contax Yashica mount, two micro four thirds. So we're going from a Panasonic GH5S to an adapter or a converter into the Contax 50 millimeter 1.4 Contax size lens. And this right here is a clamp for the anamorphic setup. Pretty sure it's the Rapido clamp. El Rapido, oh, El Rapido, not El Rapido. This is the Rapido clamp. And then right here is your Sancor 16C Charlie, that is anamorphic projector lens. And they have a, uh, and I have a step up lens filter here to my SLR Magic single range finder, single focus, so I don't have to double focus them. And then I have another step down ring to connect to my Firecrest IRND filter. And that is my anamorphic setup. From the camera to a contact Sashika to micro four thirds, to the lens, my taking lens, Rapido clamp, which is one of the best ones, I've tried them all, or most of them at least. Uh, and then the Sancor C anamorphic lens, SLR range, uh, SLR magic range finder, and an IRD filter, and then your lens cap. And that is it folks, as simple as that. This is the setup that I am currently running whenever I'm going places. This is it. This is how small it is. And in the front of the back, I'll just have a, uh, you know, the charger and stuff and a bunch of plane tickets. Because uh, I use this as my, you know, carry on, like personal item. They don't even ask me. When I used to have the big one, they would ask me to weigh it. But when they, whenever they see this one, they're like, oh, it's so small. They don't even care about it. So it's really nice. It's a case logic. I just got it, you know, somewhere, probably at Walmart. Real, it's like $100. Uh, it works for me. But yeah, if you have any questions, I hope that answered probably the most freaking question I get on YouTube. And I'll see you guys later.